Alright, so round one, is, game one, is the map Pangea, uh, progressive world dom, blizz off, fog off, portals off, peat settings basically. These, these are peat settings. Be very interested to see how this goes. Carter in the first position, keeping himself spread out. He's got a good take, possibly, for the uh, Oceania bonus in the top right. Um, that and the Antarct Antarctica bonus right next to it are usually what people will go for, but they'll also often to get broken or blocked. However, if Silent can hold Antarctica, maybe they'll move out of Carter's way and let him hold Oceania. No, Leona moves in Silent's way, so I don't think Silent will let Carter hold Oceania. Silent pretty centralized in the board, nothing on the left-hand side of the board. He's going to make his way over there, though. Alright, then we got Johnny. Johnny, with the opposite, like... A lot of his material on the left side, the left hand side of the board, nothing on the right hand side. Right, seems like he's starting to spread out those two threes in the middle, possibly just move them to different places. Probably wants to move that top three further right, further rightward, further eastward. Then we have Mallory in the fifth position. Mallory is pretty well spread out. Um, they're not really in either of the extreme corners. They're not like way over to the left or way over to the right. They're kind of, but they still are well spread. Now Horace in the final position. Horace, another one who is decently spread out. If I'm him, I add more to the um, to the ones up in the right hand corner, just so we could keep something there. Yeah, I think that's a smart decision for him. So do we see Carter actually go for that bonus? I highly doubt it, but he is going to keep that position strong so he can stay there. Because, I mean, surely he knows that if he goes for it, he just gets broken. Like, even being in the first position, I'd highly doubt they'll let him hold it. He's, try he's going to try and get Silent to move out of the way, though. I doubt Silent does. Carter really sticking himself in the corners. He is possibly the most well spread out on this map. We'll have to see though. Sorry, guys, just minimizing, minimizing stream to see something. <sighs> Alright. Now 
not a whole lot going on in the early steps of this game. Silent continuing to move himself further west so that he can have a position there. All these players right now, I think, focusing on spreading themselves out to where they want to be. Whew, loses one. Silent probably is the favorite on these settings. I'm very interested to see how this goes. Everyone kind of keeping each other in check, not letting anyone hold 12 territories, which is very smart right now. Troops mean everything in this early game. Every single troop matters until the trades get bigger. So we see Johnny, I don't know, I I kind of like Johnny's positioning, but I also don't. Like, clearly he wants to support those fours, but it's also clearly not happening. If I were him, I'd consolidate those and try to keep moving to the, to the west, to the east, I mean. But I don't know. It's so hard to see how this game's gonna unfold in the first few <coughs> first few rounds, excuse me. Obviously the people who are naturally the fish are like the people in the first two or three posi first two or three positions of the trade order. But it really depends on the cards. Like even if the strongest person in the game goes to five cards, someone could have a trade and easily just scoop the scoop them right up.
Hmm. Everyone pretty even on troops in the first four positions. I wonder if people continue to let Leona hold 12 territories. Good question. Maybe Mallory puts a stop to that right now. Oh. <laughs> hey, Nathaniel. Oh, sorry, Sofa King. Um... I can't change the title through my OBS because I unfortunately don't own the account. So I can't, like, officially link it. I only have the stream key. But um, this is the Invitational Quarterfinals Group 3. Do we see an attempt at a card skip? I think that'd be very funny, and I don't think it would work. And if he card skips, then Leona gets 12 territories. Oh, he does a card skip, but he also doesn't hit Leona, so Leona does continue to hold 12. <laughs> Look at that emote. Leona herself can't even believe it. These were World Cup settings you played in. That makes sense. These these would be good. Uh, these would be good like final settings, uh, or at least Pete would agree definitely. Yeah, exactly. It's that twelve territories means a lot in the early game. Like I said earlier, I think every troop matters in this early game until the trades start. Get, until the trades start getting big. But clearly they've they're st they're putting a stop to allowing um, Leona to hold that much.
So the trades start coming in. Carter gets the four. Do Mallory or Leon have a position? Oh, sorry. Can you guys not see the whole left? Um, hold on. <laughs> Forgot this map was so big. Or so, like, wide. Let me see if uh, that brings it into view. I don't know if that's enough. Uh... No problem. But yeah, that, that one quarter position is just a one. For, uh, of bl that's both blue. <laughs> Alright, Leona trades gets the six. Silent will trade get the eight. <laughs> hey, Crackle running the sponsorship. Hey guys, while, while things are still a bit slower in this game, um, shout out to our newest sponsor for the Professional Risk Takers uh, circuit, Rogue Energy. Rogue Energy is an online um, gaming energy supplement company. They make energy drinks. Um, they make the um, the powders that you can mix to your drinks for to make your own energy drink. Um, they're amazing. I have personally had them, so I got super excited when they mentioned that they were spot getting sponsored by Rogue. It's absolutely, they're absolutely awesome. Um, my favorite is the Strawberry Burst. Love that. Love that flavor. But um, go to RogueEnergy.com, use the code RiskTaker with your order, and you can get 10% off any order you make. Just go to RogueEnergy.com, 10% off code RiskTaker. Anyway, back to the game. We have Johnny trading in the 10 trade. <coughs> 10 trade, Jesus. Need more water. Mallory getting the 12th trade. See, when this all starts going... When it all starts going to four cards, that's when things are going to get interesting. Because no one's held the bonus, and only one person held 12 territories for one turn. These kills could suddenly become worth it on four cards. But we'll have to see. Especially if, you, especially if they could chain it into something else. Most likely not, but you never know. <laughs> Chances are they go even on kills right now. But it's hard to tell. And I mean that as in when they when we get to four cards. I don't I don't mean that right now. Right now, kills would definitely not be profitable. about a map as open as this and bonus is not being a thing if anyone goes to five cards on if anyone goes to five cards on the second trade order on the second trade cycle they're dead they are dead <laughs> wish it was easier to make these make your own energy drinks fizzy <laughs> um you know i mean like dude they are super super good i've bought the packets that you could just mix into the water like it's so good and, but they also have cans. Like, they have 12 packs of just cans of their stuff. Pre-made. But they are super good. I would recommend them.
Horse is likely dead even if he has a set on Ford, unfortunately. That's... That is possibly true. But I just I just think he has too much material. Like I, if anyone killed him, it wouldn't be worth the cards. Especially if he sets on three, you never know. <laughs> you know. God, unfortunately that that one four on the bottom right side, that's kind of... Wait, wait! Oh no, Mallory, keep your stack there. Don't move it. Don't move it. Don't move it back. If you move it back, Carter's dead. <laughs> okay. Actually, Carter... I think Carter still might be dead. It, well, that's... This is saying... If, if Horace has a trade on three, he could kill Carter and probably live. Now, that might be me going crazy, but you never know. I'm honestly just looking for the best, for the, I'm looking for the easiest source of action. <laughs> oh, was there no set of four for Bowery? Ooh. Ooh. And Horace does not have a set of three. I don't think it's that crazy to say that if someone doesn't kill Mallory, um, Horace might kill her. But his stacks aren't that well lined up to kill her. It depends. So, so far, we've, we saw Carter set on four. Didn't do anything. Probably for the best. I mean, he's the weakest one. No reason for him to do anything drastic. Uh, Leona also setting on four. Just taking a card and pass. All right, Silent sets on four. What does he do? Does he have lines for an easy kill? Wouldn't that be profitable? Oh my god. Does he have this? Why would you split? Oh yeah, because it doesn't connect. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, and he gets good dice. He gets good dice. He gets good dice. When Johnny dies, we'll be seeing him in game two. Alright, silence sets again going, I think, five troops positive on that kill. So, not terrible. And will now be a card ahead. And then we already know Mallory's case. Mallory does not have troops. I mean, does not have a trait. So this is bad. I think we see Mallory die next.
how unfortunate. I mean, even if, even if Silent failed that kill, they probably would have moved their 15 up to block Mallory or anyone else from getting in there. But Horace and like Horace would still have access. All right, Horace sets probably kills Mallory. Okay, he should have just stacked off the 13, hit through the 5, but... You know what? It's his decision. Like, does he even have this kill? It's gonna be close. I don't know that he does. Uh-oh. Ooh, he, he, he placed his troops way wrong. No, don't. No, as I said, just just take a card, man. I mean, that was that was a rough placement. <laughs> Carter takes the bonus. Good game, yeah, good game. That's gonna win. That's gonna win Carter the game right there. Yeah, no, that was. That was horrendous true placing. I don't know what was going through his head. But you know, I think Horace is a relatively new player. Um, he's done well from what I've seen. I think he's been a real, like, you know, like, uh, like, rookie of the year type shit. You know, misplays will happen. You know, you get a bit too excited. Yeah, probably hit a bit of silence. Hit a, hit a bit of silent. Cut down their territory number. <laughs> and I'm under 15. Good play. <laughs> oh, does silent not have a set? If silent had a set on three... Mallory would be dead. That sucks. That sucks for Silent. <laughs> Johnny's laughing. Oh, that sucks. No way he goes for it anyway. Nah, he doesn't. So Mallory, surprisingly, does get to trade... I mean, he could try to kill Carter. I don't know. Ooh, that was kind of meticulous. Surely she's not doing what I just said. Oh, she's... No, no, she's not. She's not. She's not. She's spreading out. Moves it to the quarter? All right, not a terrible idea. No, just takes a card there. I really, th I really thought she was lining up. For I think she was. I think she was lining up for Carter, but just didn't quite have it. Well, no, because the seven. Never mind. The seven... Well, she could get to the seven if she stacked more than... The, I don't know. It would have been close. It would have been very close. Man, being a card up is fantastic for Silent in the third position, because now he'll get the chance to possibly kill Carter or Leona. And set in from it. These are the types of options that the third position player does not often get.
Silent can kill. Silent can kill for a set in. He sets in. He kills Carter Leona. He just has to. We just have to see if he even has a sit on four. If he doesn't, then he needs to hope Mallory or Horace don't have a sit on three. Actually, no. I think I think if Silent does not have a trade on four, he's dead no matter what. So he needs he needs a set. Oh, what is she doing? No, no, no. Oh no, she's just hitting. She's hitting. She's hitting Silent. Okay. And trying to block him off from the card kill, but no. So, does he kill Yoda for hitting him, or does he just kill Carter because it's easier? Yeah, he kills Carter because it's easier. And he is lining it up. He's doing well. He's doing great. Alright, he wins that roll. Potentially lines it up. Well, hold on. If he sets, he gets... Maybe lines it up into a kill on Leona? I don't know. Oh! <gasps> no, you have it. You have it. You can go. You can go. You can go. You can keep going. What? No, dude. You have... What? Oh, no, because he lost on the one. Right. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> I thought he was doing something else, though. No. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Someone check that plasma server. Tell me what the roll is. Does Mallory not have the kill either? Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. She has the kill. Mallory, you have the kill. Mallory, you have the kill. <laughs> what? Mallory, do not stop. Mallory, you have the kill. Oh my god, she's not good. Mallory, you have the kill! Ah. Oh. Mallory! You had it! No! Well, Jesus, even without a set, Horace can kill Carter. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, that's so rough. She had it! She had the lines! Maybe, can Horace uh, put this into a kill on Leona? I think so. I am so I am asking her in the post game, did you see the lines? And if she did, I'm gonna be so mad at her. Oh he's oh he's hitting. He's hitting. To see if he can. Alright, he killed alright, he kills Carter. Is going to kill Leona, maybe. I think he'll get enough troops from the set in. Uh, uh But then where does he go from uh, where does he go from there? Oh my god, he's going to double trade after he kills Leona. This game is over. Horace needs to screw up monumentally to lose this game now. Oh no. Is that the monument? That's the mo is that the monumental screw up right here? No, he gets good dice. <laughs> Maybe Horace knew what he was doing the whole time. I do not think so. <laughs> but I will I'd be willing, I will I will give him the credit if he wins this game. Mitch, I will I will say that Horace knew what he was doing all along if he wins the game. I'll I'll give him that. Can he kill Mallory? Yes. Cause he just double set, but is he gonna have time? Chop chop chop. Split these troops quick. Go, 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 let's go. Ooh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, faster, 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 faster. Oh my god, oh my god, he's gonna run out of time. No, he ran out of time. And this game is back in action. We are going to be seeing a 1v1, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, Silent can't get there. Wait, can Silent get there? Can he get there? Silent needs to have the most impeccable. Oh my god. He might. He gets there. He gets there. Does he have the dice? He does. He has the dice. 
Silent wins. I think I think Silent wins. All right, come on, Bally. We gotta see. The, we gotta see the one v one. Pull the Zykron. No kidding. <laughs> uh, don't tell Zykron I said that. <laughs> Actually, no. He didn't pull a Zykron because Zykron loses seventy percent, not Prague World Dom. <laughs> but God, the dice were mean to Silent, and then they were good to him. Oh my God. Horus so desperately needs a set on three. If he do, if Horus does not have a set, it's all, it's all down to the cards. Oh shit, Sofa, you're Zykron? What? What? Is, why is your name Sofa King Win? <laughs> anyway, don't tell yourself that I said that. Silent's fast enough, but it, like it, he just didn't. He he was locked off. He, where's the, the lucky set? The lucky set? Ah, oh, we don't have the lucky set. Shit. Ah, oh, what a game! What a game! Congratulations to Silent on winning the first game. He will be moving on to the IBT semifinals, unless he messes up the pathing. You know, that could definitely happen. This. <laughs> You know, maybe, maybe it doesn't have a set on four. Doesn't have a set on four. Ah, he has a set. Man, what devastation after devastation. Like, just over and over. I am... I am talking to Mallory after this game. <laughs> Not after this game. In the post game, I am asking Mallory. I have to. I have to know. <laughs> All right, good games. All right, Silent will be your first semifinalist from this group. From this group. <clears throat> God, I need to drink more water. What a roller coaster is right. All right, now we go into game two, which uh, is zombies. So I am not going to like watching this. Actually, these are the exact settings that I lost in my GM tourney. And now I'm in the loser's bracket. <laughs> Wonder if the zombies will let Mallory use green. I don't think so. I think the zombies don't like to give up their color. It's their pride. Well, while we're in between games, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who was watching. Um, it's awesome to see all the support we've been getting for the PRT. Um, it's, been, it's been a great time. I've had a lot of fun as a broadcaster, and a vet staff, and as a player. Um, and if you, too, want to become a player and have as much fun as we are, and you are already, um, go to professionalrisktakers.com, make an account, and sign up to be a member of the PRT. It's only $25 a year. That's right. not a month. It's not a monthly subscription. It's a yearly subscription of only $25. Goes all, that twenty five dollars will go to support prize pools, paying for our broadcasters, uh, helping out the staff, the staff who have put this all together, like Mitch and Crackle, all those guys. Um, it's been an awesome time, and we really want PRT to be the future of Risk Esports. So it would be greatly appreciated if you could support us in any way. Also, in just small ways, like following the PRT channel, subbing for five dollars a month keeps these streams ad free, so that you do not have to get interrupted while enjoying these tournament games that we host. Um, but again, thank you all for watching as we get this.
game going. Also, shout out, shout out again to Rogue Energy for sponsoring. RogueEnergy.com. Code Risk Takers 10%. Code Risk Taker 10% off. Alright, the lobby is set up. Getting into game two. <laughs> Settings for this one. Uh, I believe it is. <laughs> Let's see. It is 28 turns later. Zombies. Blizzards on. Fog on. Which means we're not going to be able to see a lot of the board. Sorry, sorry guys. Because um, alliances are off. Um, portals off. Cards progressive. Turn timer 60 seconds. All that stuff. Um, and no bot. It's just the... F uh, well, there is a bot. The zombies. But you know what I mean. So turn order here is, yeah, the blizzards aren't super impactful. They don't really do a lot. Um, and the tr turn order here is actually almost the same as last game was. Uh, just Johnny and Mallory are switching around. Carter's still in first. Leona in second. Mallory in third. Johnny in fourth. And Horace in last. Clearly we're wanting to keep the lights shut, the lights out, or just having no card options because Leona just made a big hit to take a card. So from what we can see, we see a whole lot of Carter. Obviously all, all of Mallory. We see a whole lot of Leona as well. Uh, some of Johnny. I mean, we see a good bit of the map. Just, um, I mean, it can be assumed that Leona is going to be taking South Southwark, the big bonus in the bottom right. I personally think it'd be super funny if someone actually managed to take the monuments on these settings. I think that would be hilarious. The pig bonus. That's right, the pig bonus. <laughs> Looks just like a pig. Powers are doing a good bit of damage. Just... 
Lose the roll on that two. Alright, so Carter held a bonus of some kind. He, I bet he's holding the two ter the one that's made two territories by a blizzard on the right side. <laughs> Leona is, in fact, holding the pig bonus. Those two bonuses are usually the only ones that ever really get claimed in a game like this, considering the zombies. Because they're the easiest ones to hold. I don't know, it's... God, it's so hard to tell what's going on. Clearly, Leona is making herself strong, keeping herself in exterior positions. Um, the high chance that there's an exterior of Carter we can't see, besides the two positions we know of. Should it be a balanced dish game? Yeah, with, with Carter and Leona being the ones holding the bonuses, it will probably be a bit more balanced. Might take a little longer for kills to happen. Well, it will anyway because of fuck, but you never know. Maybe we'll probably see some feeds. The zombies go tearing through Leona. Oh, oh my god. This game just went from good to terrible for Leona. That six may be the only thing that remains. We'll have to see. Someone's gonna become a fifteen next turn. Do you think? Do you think they're gonna double? All right. Let's see. Is that all the remains of Leona? No, it's not. We don't even see her add to it. Okay. There's another position. Mallory's still in not that bad of a spot. I mean, she hasn't lost too much to the zombies. Neither has Johnny, really, with all the quarters he's in. At least from what we've seen.
What? Reno was right. Mallory barely surviving. I'll admit, I'm not an expert on zombies, so I have no idea. But, man, that's a lot. Uh-oh. I think Leona's gonna lose that three. Yep! Now what remains of Leona? So, Carter got his bonus broken. Whether or not he is because he moved or what, I'm not sure. Considering how long it's taking him, I'm thinking it's because he got broken. Not not because he gave up the bonus, but because he just got, yeah. I think, I think Carter just got hit. Alright, we see a 10. Okay. I wonder if he got his entire, like, all of that was in his bonus. I wonder if all of that got removed. And we do see Leo to add absolutely everything to that territory. And I think... Oh, boy. Jesus, really, you are an expert at zombies. I don't envy you. I hate zombies with a passion. I was going to say, Mallory should give chase. Play like a noob. <laughs> well, clearly you know more than me. <laughs> we haven't really gotten to see a whole lot of Horace or Johnny. I feel like those guys are probably just in the bottom, bottom left. Or maybe that, maybe that dark, maybe like fucking topside is all, oh, okay, we, we see another one of Horace's positions. I forgot he had something there. But, they, but still, I mean, what if, what if the entire bottom side has just been cleared out? <laughs> okay. Okay. Almost right. <laughs> Almost right. Okay, we do not see everything of Carter yet. He took a costly card. Probably off the zombie stack. His other position's probably swarmed by zombies. Exactly. The first position at zombies sucks. All right, Mallory keeps chasing Leona, which is the right move. But I feel like she should be—I feel like she should be putting troops there. I mean, I guess not. Don't make it too obvious. But I mean, it, it already is kind of obvious. 
Her and Carter both know what has happened to Leota. Possibly Horace and Johnny do too. Oh, I'm sure plenty of them are thinking about going for Leona. They just can't yet. Because it's not profitable, I, I guess. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe Carter does? I'll be honest, I didn't entirely expect Leona to go to five five cards. Maybe she just didn't have a set of four. Okay. We still don't see it. Okay, so Leona does live to trade. Yeah, Mitch, so have I. <laughs> we both saw firsthand the kind of rough starts she could come from. All right, Leona, uh, Mallory sets, gets the eight. see happen well Mallory has a set on three I don't know if that'll be worth anything but Alright, zombies coming through again. I don't know if they'll hit anything major. No, they're not adding enough. Not yet. Also, I see Horace making himself more involved in the top right in the top left. He does still have an exterior.
So Leona sits early, not surprising. Everyone else going to four cards. I also like Mallory having four positions. I think I think three positions is too low on him. As especially when she's already just so conglomerated in the top side, like Yeah, I'm not sure what Horus is trying to do there either. With the two two stacks. Sorry, that was probably a late comment I just saw it. Does Mallory set? She does. On four. Carter didn't, which I don't think gets him killed because I'm I'm pretty sure his third position is one just so engulfed by zombies, I don't know if anyone would be able to get it get to it, even if they said it. But who knows? My money is on Mallory. She always wins the zombies games against me. These guys don't stand a chance. Abs absolutely. She's moving further that way. I think I think she's looking for Carter. Like she wants to know or she just wants to know who's over there, if anyone. Horace had a position over there that I don't think he ever moved, unless he lost it. And Carter could still have a position there from when he held the bonus on the right side. Carter's very good at zombies. Prog zombies are probably Carter's best settings. They got the Carter and Mallory got it probably, yeah. <laughs> Alright, zombies wow, well, zombies growing by a good bit, I guess. I mean, not too much. I don't know, I think we're getting at the point where trades are just so massive. People losing positions isn't as likely. Hiding in the pig rectum. Oh, God. So, Carter does live to set, which I expected to. I expected him to. Horus, we'll see. I mean, oh, he's wow. He stacks every. Did he stack everything there? I think he did. Oh, I knew it. That other position was next to Horus. I knew it. They were both on that right side. I'm a genius. Not really, but kind of. <laughs> All right. So we'll be seeing Horus in game three. So Carter set Carter gets a set in from that and he'll be a guaranteed a set next turn.
Oh no. Alright, so there is what is probably everything of Leona. You know, I don't think anyone is positioned in the way to kill... I mean, Carter would definitely... I, I'm pretty sure Carter would positive on that kill. And even if he didn't, too many troops. Like, he just might lose that position on the right side, but it doesn't matter anymore because there's probably no one else over there. If I were to guess, Johnny's third position is in the bottom left. That's, that's true, Carter does kind of have his choice, and I think, I mean, I think that choice is probably Leona, because he knows, because he knows she's in just one position. I don't think Carter knows that 27 of Mallory's is there, and he de I highly doubt he knows where Johnny's third position is. Yeah, okay, Leona dies. If Carter plays this right, it's a sweep. But he needs to play it right. He should go for Mallory. Yeah. Alright, see, alright, now he finds Mallory's other position. Mallory is dead. Very well played by Carter. By Carter. Oh, God. Alright, well, all right, well, unless we see a colossal screw-up from from uh, Carter and a lucky set from Johnny, I believe this game is over. He's not still back there. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, no. No, no, no. He thinks he's still back there. He thinks he's still back there. I didn't even know Johnny lost that position. Shit. Oh, God. Oh, no. What? Uh, wait, did he think that was open? Yep, I knew it. I knew that's where it was. And he doesn't have a set, though. Okay. Don't go up. Don't go up. Don't go up. Oh, he shouldn't have gone up. I mean, it hardly matters. Oh, he has two more positions. Oh, my God. Man, Johnny positioned himself well. Not getting great manual dice. Oh, maybe a change? You gotta wonder, does Carter think that that is Johnny's last position? Oh, well, that's gonna reveal it. Damn. Johnny should have left enough there for that to survive. That's fine. The zombies moved out of uh, Carter's way for the most part. He'll figure it out. Oh, he's going down. Ooh. Oh, he could, he can mess this up right now. <laughs> he needs to think about this carefully. Hit the 10. 
He needs to hit the 10. He, he chills, okay. Right. Okay, he has a set, but like, I don't think he has enough to kill him. He's gonna go for it. How good a dice is he gonna get? Oh. Wait, wait! Does he blitz it? He gets it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Johnny gets the dice of his life and wins the game. Oh my god. Jolie trolling. Rugster also trolling. Get out of here, guys. See you, Silent. Those kills were very well played. It's so... God, that's unfortunate. Also, um, you guys are, uh, you guys are going to be interested in this one. So, noob, get out of here. Noob, get out. Yeah, thank you for the good luck. Get out of here. All right. So, game three, the map is Dracula's Castle. Ah, Dracula's Castle, caps, blizzards on, fog off, portals off, fixed cards, True random dice and alliances are on with two bots. So, yeah, make of that what you will. Finally, some good settings. Yeah, no kidding. I, I really hope this game does not drag on.
So TLDR, there's no luck. It's all it's all skill, of of course. <laughs> you were on the Dude, I want to see some turn one cap rolls. Where are the other two players? Where are Leona and Horace? Yes, this is the this is the fixed cap true random game. Also, uh, also we're entering a pause for a minute. Um, everyone, stay tight in your seats. We'll be back in a second. Thud von Braun, I love that bot name. Peak set, these are peak settings. These are the best possible settings you can have in a tournament. I do, I do, I do. JJ would pull out some bullshit like this. All right, Leona, join. All right, while we're waiting, everyone, um, not to, not to be a, uh, not to plug it or anything, but um, as I said earlier, RogueEnergy.com. Uh, they have some awesome energy drinks for sale, as well as some packets you can mix your drinks in. They also sell their own mixer cups, so you can like you can get a starter kit that has some packets of the have some packets of the stuff. Your own mixer cup that you can mix it in. Um, they 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 got everything you need for the for the prime prime experience. Um, just go to RogueEnergy.com, code Risk Taker for ten percent off any purchase. It'll go a long way to support the PRT, and we would really appreciate it. Hello. Hello. Truth. What are you doing? I'm just. Uh, I'm just joining the. Join the, the post game. Join the post. Yeah. The post game hasn't started yet, unfortunately. We're still. We're going into the best game of the series. Oh. The true. The true random fixed caps game. Oh wait, what? <laughs> yeah, true. The true oh, random fixed caps. That's the game three settings on Dracula's castle. With alliances on. And two bots. Wait, we're playing the PRT Cup. Right? No, this no, this is the, the Invitational quarterfinals, game three. Oh. Oh, okay. My bad. My bad. No, it's all good. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Alright. Glitch is giving the go ahead. We're good to go. As soon as Horace joins. Horus is on his way. There he is. I think we're ready to start these incredible settings. Horse boy evolved into horse dad and left again milk. <laughs> Alright. Game three starting. I am both excited and not to be broadcasting these settings. I hope to see some turn one cap rolls to keep it interesting. Whoa, whoa, we lost connection. 
Uh. Uh. Oh boy. Oh, this is going a while. Now we had to hit the door, so there's they decide there's no point in continuing. Uh oh. Are we quitting? All right, we quit out. Do we know what happened? Yeah, connection blip. Everyone got disconnected. <laughs> Mallory's just mad because they had it indoor. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a restart. Because everyone had those connection issues. It wasn't just Mallory. Something with the game. Mallory just cycling through the colors. <laughs> Carter as well. Just uh, waiting for Leon and Horace again. We've got everyone. Mallory Lynn, XC Dude 96, Horace Boy, and Leona. One of these guys will be moving on to the semifinals. The other three will be eliminated. Right, who got hit in the door? I actually have no idea what that territory is. Who got it? Did the bot get hit in the door? Wait, which one? Which which one is hidden door? I never know. Oh, that one. I see. Oh, the one below their door. Oh, because then they just get that, they get that bonus for free. Horus caps are right next to the white bot. Where does Leona go? Okay, I kind of expected that one.
Horus knows exactly what he's doing. I just want to see if it works. And it's going to work. Unbelievable. And fortifies back. That's still a strong cap. But all the material around it is Horus's. Alright, Carter takes that entire section of the board. I hope he didn't think that was a bonus. And the bot takes a bonus turn one. Now that's fun. Valerie, do not do it. That is not, I'll say, that's not worth it. <coughs> Even on true random, that's bad odds. And I mean as in the 11 rolling whatever's left there. Now, Leona has a bot stacked on their cap. So they gotta figure that out. <laughs> I was about to say, they would have to think about that carefully. Okay. Interesting. <coughs> uh, I think that seven's toast. I think that... Oh, shit! Oh, it doesn't win! Damn it! That was so... That was so interesting. <laughs> I thought... Man, I thought I was gonna win. I thought I was gonna win. It only took two. True random is better to some. The ball lost 14 on uh, 9, but still, I feel like there should have been more of a loss than 2. This was a balanced blitz cap dice. Those were balanced blitz cap dice, and I am not here for it. Hit and door! Let's go! Let's fucking up!
Oh, the bot takes that bottom bonus. Mallory does have good potential here, but so does Sofa. I mean, so does fucking Horace. I saw Sofa in the chat and I said that. God damn it, Zykron, change your username. <laughs> The only problem is that the bot keeps going back to cap. Because there's so much shit around it. Does Carter actually think he's going to hold this bonus when he takes it? There's a cap on one of his borders. And he's locking his... I, I don't get it. Big loss there, but she could have lost the roll entirely, so... Hidden door! Why did Horace let the bot hold that bonus? <laughs> I mean, he could. I, I don't get that one. I mean, now he gets the cap, but like. Unless Carter or Mallory steal it. It'd probably, it'd be, it would not be good for Mallory to steal it. She'd be split, she'd be splitting herself too much. No, God, I forgot this was fixed cards. I was like, how the hell did Carter get a how the hell did Carter get a eight trade on the first set? There's such weird settings, and she gets the tr the ten trade on three. <coughs> she needs to guard the nine cap. Don't take the white cap; you can't hold it. I guarantee, whatever she leaves there, however much she leaves on the white cap, either that one's getting rolled or one of her other caps is getting rolled. Okay, weird. Um, but okay. What do you mean the lim- Oh, well yeah, eliminate her from that position, but I don't- Huh. I feel like she definitely should have put more on that one cap. On the nine. Well, Horace gets his second cap that, he, that he's been wanting for three turns now. But he still has to guard against that bot unless he hits it.
Yuppers, there's the break. I don't know though. Doesn't because isn't that just gonna make Maui want to screw with her more? I mean, I guess I guess uh, Leona hasn't said yet. Moves out. Okay. Spamming the angry emojis. I got. I forgot. I forgot. Alliances were on for this. What do you mean? Oh, wait. Oh, oh, she was doing that. All right. So, if the red, I mean, if if the red bot doesn't set. If the red, oh wait, if the red bot sets, oh wait. No, it doesn't, okay. That's now three cards that Mallory has whenever she wants. Oh my god, the true random dice. The true random gods. That's a good point, Multivac. I'm not entirely sure why he's doing that. Why is that just wiping out that too? I guess he just doesn't want Mallory to have the kill, but like... I don't know. Sets gets the 10. Oh. Yeah, now that position is strong. Huh. Sorry, speedster isn't loud. I'm I'm still recovering from sickness, so I probably am breathing a bit hard. And I have no I have no idea how loud my mic is. This could go for hours. I hope it doesn't. The light bot stacking on hidden door could be a problem for Horace potentially. I mean, it, pr it probably will. He really should have just wiped that out when he had the chance.
All right, we see Mallory trade on three. Keeps stacking against Leona, hoping she won't break. And now offers an alliance. And Leona accepts. Okay. I'm still not entirely sure what Carter's doing. If I'm being honest. Plus nine off of four. Fantastic. Mallory has a 10 set on 3 next turn. Sorry if I'm not talking much. I've been blowing my nose a lot in the last few minutes.
my god! Why did he do that? What? Excuse me? You know, supposedly takes the kill on the white ball unless it loses 20 on 6. No. Oh my god, what was that? Wow, and Carter gets perfect dice on true random. Oh, now she kills the bot. Imagine she loses the 7 on 1. Nah. He's good. Does she lose the 36 on 14, though? No. Barely. Wow. Good dice. Good dice. Very good dice for true random and the potential that it could have been. Well, Horus is probably screwed, but you never know. And Mallory breaks the alliance again. That asks Carter to attack Leona. Which I doubt Carter will do. Okay, he gives the thumbs up. Guys, this sucks. <laughs> this really sucks. And I don't like it.
quarantine, would you would you like to somebody to talk with you or do you want to be all alone? I can't hear you.
Sorry, fellas, just got back. I had to take a call and give myself some more meds. Uh, so I see, I just walked in as Mallory did that hit. So I, I guess I walked right in as the action started actually happening. Quarantine, I, I didn't know if you wanted another commentator with you. You can tell me to go away. I mean, I don't care. Were you commentating while I was gone? <laughs> no, I, I didn't want to be that guy. And I was like, uh, can I just not hear him for some reason? <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, I I was uh, gone. But, yeah, you can commentate if you yeah. want. Oh, I'm probably... I won't stick out to the very, very end. But no, that, That's fine. It could go on for a long time. Dude. It could. But hopefully hopefully these rising tensions between Mallory and Leona kick things off. And Carter continue. I hope Carter rolls Horace's cap at some point, the 32. Well, I think Mallory... Um, Mallory needs to tone it back with Leona because... Huh. Carter is getting close to be able to take out, not take out Blue, but pressure Blue a bit more. Yeah. He kills Blue, he wins. Mallory's making herself pretty weak. But Leona's willing to submit down it there. The well, longer this goes on, the weaker will we'll get. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that I did not have to play this game after winning that Zombies <laughs> game. Man. Well, the guy, was, who, well, the guy who you beat is seeming to be winning this game anyway. So, well, yeah, I want Carter to win. I, I, I really, Carter's really, really good at zombies. Yeah, I got extremely lucky killing him. Huh. I, I tracked early on, like y'all couldn't see it, but Leona got wiped out from that bottom. Right I did. Bonus, well, like, we, well, we were able to infer because eventually she started just stacking on one territory that we could see. <laughs> uh, <coughs> so yeah, we could we could tell that she was just not. There was nothing left. Yeah, the Ooh, fist he, bumps wow, at the beginning. Fist bumps at the beginning were her and I saying, "Hey, please kill guard me." <laughs> that little kill guard territory in yeah. there. Um, and then that that little kill guard territory saved your game. Was. Yes, I did make a huge mess up though. Of um, at the end when I went up to like slow row Carter, yeah, I tried to leave like a stack there. I, I that's what okay. I was left one. That's what I was wondering. I was, I was to, like, yeah. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was trying to act like that was my last position. Yeah, that's what I thought you were doing. So I was kind of sad that you didn't leave enough there. Um, but yeah, I, I was I was stupid. I tried to hit to the left one time because I think there was a bigger zombie stack to my right that could maybe hit him too. Yeah. I wasn't quick enough. I did one too many slow rolls. So I was trying to faint like, oh, this is my last position. And then Carter gets all like riled up of, oh, this is the last position. We may as well just like go hardcore into him. Yeah. Um, and I knew he wasn't on the right hand side because. He had a bonus early, but he lost his bonus. Um, and then I was like starting to track stuff. I just I thought he had a big stack somewhere, and I was just basically suiciding at the end. I was like, I might as well try though. Fair. Like he should know where I was um, by the end of that game. That's fair enough. So, I mean, like but but he, he waited it out because he did. Forever. Yeah, and he obviously didn't think you'd get good enough dice to just kill him. So way to get out was the right move, but unfortunately, yeah, you got I mean, some good dice. Well, and you at passed the bottom, it. Well. At the bottom, I had a 10 beside me, and my assumption was that there was another 10 between. He had a 21 or 22 there. He probably should have killed me. He knew where I was. He knew. Did like he know? He had to have because like, cause he cleared the whole entire right-hand side out of everybody else. He fuck, he killed everybody else, Gordon. Yeah. Well, <laughs> like, the thing that, well, the thing that scared I mean, him the most is that um, his stack was already kind of weak by the time it got down to the bottom right. And he didn't want to cut off his other stacks. He, the problem, he had no idea how uh, he could, he couldn't think of how much you had there, so it scared him a bit. It well, scared him away from just the taking Leona the kill. kill. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna get the Leona kill if he didn't, because like, I, the, I kept on hitting down, and I think you could see that because Mallory was there, and I was like, oh wow, Leona's adding everything to this one spot. That's surprising. Yeah. Um, and wow. then I had some cards in the bottom right that showed all zombies, so I knew there was no kill guard there somehow. Yeah. Um, some way, so like. For me, like that was probably, I I tried to join the chat right away, but then I realized my mic was disconnected. <laughs> that was the most exciting into a game that I've ever had because I didn't I didn't even know if that was his last position, but I had to try. I had a fifty one percent roll on that. Fair enough. Fifty one percent roll. Fifty one. So basically a coin flip. Yes, because it was a twelve on twelve. Yeah. So it Man. was literally fifty one percent. God, that is crazy. <laughs> so that was. That was probably the most exciting finish of any game that I've ever had. Was that game? I mean, it was hella exciting for me. I'll be honest. Well, I mean, for I thought he was just gonna smack me. He, 
he must have had some really bad dice on Mallory. And um, I don't know who the other person was. He, he had okay Leona, dice. I don't know. He, he just, somebody else. I think he, his stacks weren't as... Because he had to really spread himself out to get Mallory because she had four positions left. But okay. um, So yeah. his stacks weren't that big. And he also... Actually, I will tell you this. He misplaced 22 troops that he thought were open and he could take to your bottom right position. Oh, um, wow. But, and, but they weren't open where he placed them. He misplaced. At, and that's what... Because... I think he would have had me. So, like, knowing that he had that 22 there, he hits a 10 stack, 10 stack, yeah. and then he probably gets there with, like, a 16, 17. Yeah. But, I mean, I didn't have a set on three. I was really kicking myself. I was like, that's the only chance that I have to set on three. I thought I was dead for sure. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, Carter played that game better than me, but I won. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, man, sometimes it's all about the luck. Yeah, it is. But, I mean, also, I think um, he maybe pushed it a little bit too much. Maybe a oh, little shit. bit too much. Uh, yeah. Carter takes one of Horace's. Game, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Carter takes one of the t takes one of Horace's fucking caps. I think you should put that whole entire thirty-one there. So do I. There's like maybe I think yeah, he I wants him to hit it. I think he wants him to hit it, but I mean, you never know. That's if, a risk. If he kills, if he kills blue, he wins the game. Yeah. So it's really this I is mean, gonna be interesting. If he if he kills blue. Valerie's the type to try to suicide and kill him, though. Yeah. So then Leona might win. <laughs> so. It really depends on oh, what yeah. happens here with Horace. Well, Horace, um, he, he's made some interesting plays of, like, um, at the very beginning of that Zombies game, I thought he should have kill guarded me on the left. Um, I, I'm not, I wasn't able to see a whole lot of Horace's positions. During the, he was probably the one I saw the least during most of that game. So he, um, he had two on the left hand side, um, one to the one to the right of the blizzard over there, and then one down below. I knew he had those two positions, and I didn't know where anything else. I took a picture at the start of the game fair. to like see where people were. Um, okay, so Horace breaks doesn't up, take the but... cap back. That's smart. He shouldn't take the cap back because then he probably well, he, dies. he could lose it all. Yeah, he could lose it all. He could lose it all. <laughs> like I'd be mean, like he. I'd be mean, like if he wanted to be ballsy. I just don't know. Um, also, I, 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 I it's just gonna take a while. Yeah, I just saw Mallory broke Carter finally because she's starting to see, she's starting to see Horace crack. Well, I mean, I Mallory is in a great position here. Yeah. <laughs> is, is Leona telling Mallory to get off that cap? <laughs> or no, she's probably asking for Mallory to trade with her, but. If she's threatening to break the bonus, so she's yeah. saying trade with me or I'll break your bonus. Trade with me or, or I'll break both, which would definitely not be. We're, we're, I wasn't watching the start of this game because I was finishing the zombie game. I got yeah. disconnected in the zombies game. Okay, so, so like, did everyone. Annoying. So did every we we started this game and then like right at the end turn one, everyone got disconnected. It was something with the servers. Okay. Yeah, I I was watching Kilted too, and Kilted got disconnected, but he was able to join back. I was not able to join back the zombies game. Uh, so the zombies won. Fair enough, man. These, this is an interesting board state. I'm really interested to see how long Horace lasts before he just hits well, something. And in, in quarantine, I'll give you another tidbit here. Mallory has her GM game at four o'clock. Oh yeah, she said that. She said she wouldn't have enough like time to do game three because of how long it was probably going to take. Yep. I told her that she just needs to get on her phone, make a new risk account, and just play GM that way. <laughs> so I told her. I was like, you might as well get in the game. Like, you know, there's no rule against playing two different tournaments at one time. Yeah. Um, and everybody would be fine with her just having a different username. I, I mean, know I know people who have done that before. That. I mean, I, that's what that was my plan. I was going to go get my wife's phone and literally just make a risk account and then play it. <laughs> Ooh, do it. Do it. Yeah. Ooh. Does she want to die? Oh, uh, I think she's getting tired. <laughs> she wants to die. She wants to die. Potentially. We'll have to see if Mallory has a set on... If Mallory just has, like, anything. We have, but the thing is, does yeah, Mallory, Mallory that bold? Does Mallory that bold? Mallory can take the 35, 
hit the 11, hit the one, clear out everything, hit the stack, and then roll it with a 41, fortify the 25 back to that top cap, and she owns both those bonuses and three caps. Yeah. And that's like the odds of winning those are extremely high. If she doesn't win that, then she wasn't meant to win this. Yeah. Nobody can break that 25 cap at the top. Like, I think Mallory is now in a winning position if she, she sees it. Slowly but surely, she'll be in a winning position. All right, we'll have to see what she does. Come on, Mallory. This, this was Leona's final gambit. We'll see if it works. Come on, Leona. Now or never. I mean, not Leona, Mallory. You got to do it. Set in. You don't have a set. Do it. Yes. Yes. There you go. Go all the way down. All right. Yeah, she sees it. She sees it. Yeah. Smack, smack a lack the stack. Knocks out everything. She okay. has to. She has to. Yeah, that's true. You, you can't have somebody behind them because. I, oh no! Oh, the twenty-five on the there. Yeah. I'll this is I'll good. This is good. Tra Leona out. needs some. Leona needs some good dice to get back into this. I thought she was gonna like full send. Uh, I would have like slow rolled the ten. Maybe it wasn't enough. She lost a lot of troops. Horse set on through yeah. with the four trade. I, I, I just wonder one. if Leona was trying to give her the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, if Leona's going to roll into this 55 now? No, Leona's not done yet. Six. Six on the ten. Yeah, no, this is... I mean, it's we it's wearing Leona down, but... Rolls Leona's it. Leona's going to roll the cap. Yep. Loses and 35. Good That's good. That's good for um, good for Mallory. That is good. That's very that's very good for Mallory. Mallory could kill her. Carter's not open. Yep. Carter is open, but Carter he needs a is set. open. He needs a set. But let's just say she she loses. No, 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 no. I think he wants the bonus so that way he can add more to that thirty-four and hit her if he needs to. Gives an option to double smack it. It is. The thing is, though, that locks off the 34 from being able to... Yeah, it does. It's fine. I mean, he... I don't I don't think he would have... He would have nearly enough to hold all of that against Horace and Mallory. He needs, also, he needs... I, I wonder if becoming the strongest player in this will lead to the other two teaming up on you. You know what I, I mean? highly doubt like, it. Mallory wins if she takes out um, Leona here. Like, well, I think, I think both of these players know. Yeah, but Leon obviously got sick. Carter and Blue are killing each other now. And she doesn't even have a trade on four. Come on, please. Please, Mallory. You can do it. You have to risk it for the biscuit. There we go. Risk it for them, biscuit. You don't have to split. You don't have to split. Ah, uh, yeah. That that was a safety play. She still may still get it. She's still splitting. She's just trying to push her out. Oh, uh, that's fair. She's just pushing her out. That's fair. Knowing that she can kill her after. And don't even open up and give her that. Force her out. Yep. No trade. But that's going to be a 24 cap. I, I just still think in any, in any possibility, I feel like Carter still should have left his lines there open. Yeah. I think the turn order was quite interesting there. It is. Like Mallory going like directly you know, after Carter. Yeah. Could make things difficult. Definitely think Mallory has to try for a kill here. If not, it'd be tough. I mean how much are those bonuses worth? Do you remember quarantine? Uh I do not. Hold on. I could pull, I could I could pull it up. Uh probably like a five and a six, I guess. Uh, okay, so Crypt, the one in the bottom that Leona had is plus five. Feasting Hall, the one Mallory's in is plus six. Or was it, Then War Rooms above it is also plus six. Carter's is you plus eight. You have to roll this. Yeah. Uh, Carter has a 22 now. He saw it. That sucks for that sucks for her. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Sorry, guys. Back to the game. Crossing. I still think it's so funny though that hit, the hidden door bonus is plus five. That is so funny. Did you see that hit? You just see that hit, Cormorant? I did just see that hit. That. Oh God. I think 
Carter should have just been friends with Blue and maybe try to take over the left hand side. I thought <laughs> Carter's win condition well, I was think, to take out Blue. I think now Carter's gonna beat the shit out of Mallory after this is all over. I don't know. That's a it lot depends. of bonus to hold from yeah. one cap. That's a lot of bonus and fixed, man. A whole lot. Well, she got 20 last turn. She'll get 28 a turn, guaranteed, every single turn. She can break Carter every single turn, almost. Oh, uh, no. I um, mean, she can break the big one. Blue doesn't want to lose. So, I mean. If Leona sets... Mallory's in a lot worse position. No way he goes for it. No, he just hits off of that. What are you doing, Carter? Trying to clear out Remove her? Uh, yeah, he wants to remove her. Oh, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. I think he's going to... Uh, he should... Yeah. Does he give up the bonus? No. I mean, does he give up the cap? I don't think he can. Does? I mean, I don't know. I don't think he can afford to either. But he does. Maybe he wants to blue to lose that other cap instead of the other one. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, blue trying to guard both caps right now not gonna work. I mean, like he he will die if he tries to hold both of those. I I think that she needs to go up there and smack. I don't know about you, but I think she. I think Mallory should try to kill her right now. <laughs> Uh, I mean, she's going to have four. I mean, it's quite difficult. Um, I guess Mallory can wait for a while because she's getting so many troops. But she needs the war to continue between blue and orange. But it should fizzle down. Never mind. Carter gave up a lot by losing and moving that cap. And Probably Horace, think Horace doesn't take it back? Does, Horace does not take that. Does he? I think he will. I think Carter showed a lot of goodwill leaving that cap open. He, like having nothing on it. He's yeah. trying to show that, hey, we have to work together against Mallory. We'll see what happens. I th I think Mallory should have floated that 16 up and put it on the um, 47. Make sure she can get the kill next turn. you gonna do here, Leanna. Doesn't want to take Card any skips. cards. Wow. Yeah. That's what she should be doing. Making herself slush, slightly less valuable. Well, right, Carter, sure it yeah, Carter takes back his bonus, breaks uh breaks Horace. Keeping him him and Horace are keeping each other in check, which is gonna delay this game a bit. I just think it's going to cause, like, I've been saying it, like, if Mallory just comes up here and smacks that 38, I mean, yeah. you probably put it, brought up that 16. I mean, nobody's in the position, especially now Carter moves this 20. That's the reason why you see him struggling to move that 20. Yeah. He wants to be there when it happens. He moves, he the, he moves it back he to cap. To move it. Yeah, he, he has to. I mean, he's mm. becoming so weak now. Put a two there. Oh, come on, Mallory. It's true random. <laughs> Move the 16 up. Ah. At least there's a good amount of action this game. At least. But, man, this game might just keep going. I mean, if somebody had trap door, that's when I think um, these settings really become viable. Yeah. Um, because somebody someone, can start to steamroll. Yeah, someone gets hidden door. That was the thing the bot started with it, so nobody could cap there. The first uh, game before the first game before all the disconnects, Mallory had it. And then they had to reset because ooh. of the servers. That that would have been depressing. Like you know you're going top two, most likely if you get that bonus. Like uh -huh. it's just known. So like, Horace has been shouldn't lose. Horace has been attempting to hold it and those two caps, but like he made that horrible roll on the bot. 
Carter is now going to get pinched. Yeah. Carter is no longer in a good place. Yeah. Ooh. Minus four on a one. Love to see the true random. Blue is um, blue's able to cut off Carter from his bonus. Yes, he, he can only go through a couple spots. Yeah, make him work for it. But Carter's so committed now that I don't know if he can let him hold the bonuses. Yeah, he he thinks the same as me. Thinks he's too deep in now to um to let it go. Doesn't even doesn't even think break. I think I think he has to start thinking um pretty here thinking here soon that he's gonna get rolled if he doesn't make friends with blue. Nope. We will keep being enemies with I think blue. it's time. Yeah, yeah just roll there. the cab, Mallory. I mean my god. Even if you lose. Oh no. my oh. Ooh. Mallory <laughs> God. I mean, that being said, what does she have to lose to wait another turn, right? That's fair. But I hope... Leona does not I, I have hope, a set. I hope Leona rolls that and wins. <laughs> like, rolls a 38 on... Oh, my gosh. That would be depressing. I just don't know what they're going to do once um, Mallory gets those three bonuses and three caps. Should be unstoppable. For real. I mean, even if Carter holds that, that's a plus 12. She'll just break it each time, though. So she's outpacing him by 16 troops a turn. Blue, if he holds both of those, he's getting... So, like, both of them can only generate as much as her every single turn. Hmm. Doing Carter. Ooh, Ow. okay. He's begging that 29 cap to hit him. That's what he's doing. Finally, Jesus. Come on. 91%. 91. Oh, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Loses oh, almost everything. Does she get the kill? Oh, wow. Swing the 16 up. Nobody can get to her because the 10's in the now way. Now, that is what I call a cap roll right there. Yeah. I mean, she's she's going to have she's gonna have 27 troops on that cap. 20. And just a ton. Yeah, 26. Blue can't get her. I think, that's, I think that should be a GG here if um, orange and blue don't resolve their differences. I'm blue, though. Am I salty enough just to take Carter down with me? He's trying to hold the bonus down there. Fair play, Carter. No. 28 troops. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is like, even if they both hold the bonuses that they can, really, they can't out generate her. So, like, it's a matter of time before she. She's already, she's already she's, back to Carter's level. One yeah. turn. Now she goes through and just slowly, like, you leave. As many troops as you want. Yeah, move your six out. I was going to say move it out, but Mallory has twenty nine minutes. She's now on the clock. <laughs> I was about to say that, ladies and gentlemen. It may be, it may seem obvious, but we are on a timer. I also think when we're talking about here, I think Blue is committing that he's going to lose with Carter now. That's oh, what I think yeah. I'm seeing here. It's Blue. Blue's determined that Carter cost him the game, just because Carter had to play his best game. To be fair, Carter didn't even the cost him the game. Blue cost himself his game. What do you mean? Because did you see when he rolled the white stack? I did not. I did it was not like it was like a thirty-seven. He rolled it with like a fifty-five. Lost everything. Wow. So he is down fifty-five troops by his own will. Mm hmm. I mean, even then, Carter's broken him every single turn. So that's true. <laughs> like, well, that, that was that was the old situation when Mallory and Leona were still having a fight, and then Leona just yeah. was like, "Fuck this." So that's the reason why JJ like loves these settings. Is well, look at that JJ that it just makes everybody chat. Hello, JJ. Makes everybody angry. That's that's what he likes.
Yeah. <laughs> JJ, I'm suffering through this because of you. And I'll always blame you for that. I mean, you just never know. I mean, if, if Mallory rushes this, she could get some really bad rolls. But Carter's trying to show that he wants to card block. That's what I think's happening here. But I just don't think it's enough. With Blue wanting to hold two bonuses and not giving Carter anything down below, I'm sure Carter's getting quite livid. Yeah, see, he's, tr he's trying to show, hey, let's card block. Doesn't even, doesn't even wants. card block. I, th I think that he has to stay behind the caps now. He has to stay on his cap or... Um, he says attack blue. He's trying to feed blue. I just leave the 89 out. That's what I'd do. Yep. Somebody's going to roll your 89 when that's as much troops as they have. <laughs> what was she making now? 30? 29.30? She's making 28. Eight, what? 14, 15 for blue? Yeah. They're oh, actually, no, he's actually making a... Uh, if he holds the bonuses, that's... Uh, how much? 10, 14, uh, 17? Put out like five troops out there, Carter. See if she'll lose like eighty on it. <laughs> exactly. Oh, there we go. Don't do it, Mallory. Let's see. Don't Where's the it. dabs? Where's the dabs? You people are monsters. They're they're concentrating too much on the game. They're not paying attention to the really important things. Exactly. Don't tell me you're gonna smack that. Kill oh, him. God. Kill him. End <laughs> this game. Damn it. Bot, did the bot just have the really, really good cap spots on this map, I imagine? Oh, like these okay, blizzards so, are nasty. Yeah, no, these blizzards these blizzards don't do like anything. But um what, look, look on that six cap, you move that up one, you hold two bonuses. You know what that I mean? is true. Yeah, but like those oh that's true. Okay, so the one that does connect to the other bonus, that is true. That does but the other ones don't really do much. Yeah, I am saying the left hand side is like the, the honey yeah. pot of this. Oh wow! Yeah, rolls it. Yeah, He's yeah. To help blue. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Carter said, "Good I game." Have, yeah, he's enough. he's done. He's done. He tried. Uh, he couldn't do it. He was he's in the middle. Mallory still <laughs> still has the most troops by far. Like yeah. no matter what Carter does, exactly. she just needs to start stacking cap now. Exactly. What she needs to do. Also, JJ, so so go watch my hidden door games and learn. Yeah, too bad you never got to try those, huh? Because you didn't end up in the hey, quarterfinals. JJ, JJ, you use progressive. This is fixed. Don't lie to the chat. You use I'm progressive, not, not fixed. Does blue turn out to be a homie and throw a stack up there? Challenging Mallory to break the bonus. Break the bonus. Oh, good play. Don't roll anything. Just make her do it herself. Break the bonus. He's full committing. See, this is what I told you. Two players yeah. turning against one. This is what I told you. Mallory needs to stack that thirty. No, and Carter. Carter, do not, do not. Okay, I was gonna say Carter, do not suicide. Carter's just into card blue. skipping. He's. He, oh, oh my he's, God! Oh he's my giving up. He's giving up. Wow. He doesn't he that is a Carter is so bad about this game, he's just making sure Blue doesn't win. I yeah, he she just goes and takes the cap and sits there. Yeah. That's what I said. I was like, I think they're playing each other That's like, crazy. Well and before I before I came here, I listened to some of Carter's stream. I think he was trying to like work out a way to win, but being yeah. in the middle, I think he was finding it quite difficult. Yeah. All right, sets. Come on, come on, Horace. Do something big. Do something drastic. He's getting enough bonus now that does he need to do something dramatic? He's just able to sit on cap and roll his 
big stack up there eventually. True. I mean, he just keeps on stacking there, takes a card on um, down below, but eventually Mallory's going to come through down below, I think. Roll the 82. Roll the 82. <laughs> you can win. It's too random. I find it interesting here of like, do you try to kill Carter just to take a thought process out of the game? Or what do you do? Honestly, don't know. See, 31 a turn. You can kill him this turn if you set in. Sit on the cap. That 95 comes through, takes that cap in the middle. Oh, yeah. Mallory could cap run. You, you just said that. Spot. Mallory could just cap run this. Could she? If she gets good enough dice. She can. But like, it was good. No. That's the risk, right? Wait, wait, wait. Let's go. Yeah, that's wait. It. it was close. It was close. That's GG. Mallory wow. wins game three. <laughs> what a game. All right. She got a slightly worse roll there, though. That would have been a great... Yeah, GG. <laughs> slightly oh, worse. Wow. Hold on, let's... I mean, blue, blue, and blue and orange were just fighting each other till the death. There. That's hey guys, true. Mallory, what wow, a game! I, can't I won that. My heart is racing right now. Mallory, you and me just switch spots. You know, between the weeks, I won game two. I mean, game three and game two. Now you won game two and game three. Oh, that's hilarious! Yeah, these were really well played games. Um, I, I'm excited to actually watch these back. Uh. Game one, I can't believe I survived no trade on four. Um, Mallory, Mallory. When Horace fed that... No, not, wait, was it Horace or was it... No, it was It Silent. was Horace. No, it was Horace fed my kill to Legend. No, 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 no. Wh whoever fed a kill to you. That fed Carter to fed, you. Yeah, Carter. You, oh, you I could, could have not Carter. get there. Yes, I you could. Get there. Yes, you could. You had the lines. I swear. I sw Mallory, I swear on my life you had the lines. I swear. Okay, I'll watch it back because he I didn't started. didn't need to kill me because I gave her the game. No, we're talking no, about no, game we're talking one. About game I, one. Start, game I started one. to oh. go for it, but on the oh, yeah, left-hand yeah, side. Yeah, Mallory, you a 22 stack that you could have looped around and got me. Oh really? I oh, I didn't yeah. see it. I didn't see it. I I yeah. thought I had it, and then I saw that somebody had moved, and I was like, "Oh shit, I'm blocked now." So if I miss that, that's my bad, because I I start I hit his one, and then I was like, "Oh fuck." <laughs> <laughs> you know what made me really? Oh, you guys allowed the way, Silent Legend to win that game after what he did to me. In my opinion, Johnny, I had no choice because I didn't even have a set on four. Leona, know. I am so sorry. Like, your cat position was just so horrific. I you mean, were in such a bad spot. Like, I really, I, really feel bad about that. I mean, if you think that was, was bad, it, let Leona tell you what happened to her game two. Let, let Leona tell her I, what happened I to had, game, game two. I had a choice of cat behind a bot on the right hand side or cat behind a bot and Mallory but with a bonus on the left hand side. So, I mean, these are trollish settings. JJ purposefully plays these trollish settings. I don't think <laughs> they should be in a tournament. But can can we game. talk <laughs> about can we talk about the bullshit no, restart we I had to do when I had <laughs> hidden <laughs> door? <laughs> Everybody I had the option to take the red cap, yes. Wait, However, why did you have to restart? Uh, we all got a weird disconnect bug. Oh, it, it, it was JJ. And yeah, it was, as soon it was server as the wide, game like, start, yeah, as soon as the game started, oh, we all got like the waiting to that reconnect. That happened with thing. Tilted's game too. Yeah, and, it was, and Johnny said he lost his zombies game. I think it was everyone. Yeah, right. I, I wasn't I'm able to finish the zombies game. I'm so frustrated about that zombies game. If I would have just taken Dude. the card and passed, I would have won the game because you would have. Carter, won. that that was that was brutal. That was heartbreaking. I mean, How many all troops did you expend that turn? Really I, I, I lost like seven troops trying to find your last position because I thought the zombies nope. attacked around it because of pathing, and you had like a one somewhere. You, was, you um. He had a six. I, I had a fifty-one percent roll. I had a fifty-one percent roll to kill. Yeah, it was before. like. What, uh, like a 11 v 12 or something? Matter. It didn't matter that zombies would have killed you. I had one territory to get hit. It wouldn't have mattered. You would have 
Oh um, man, yeah, I thought for sure Chad had game but if, two. If, if I if I if I had just taken a card on the cheapest zombie, I would have had eight more troops. You wouldn't have had anywhere near enough to take out my final position. The zombies would have eaten you, or I would have killed you because I'd have sat at that point after that point. So Leona so in game sad, three, Carter. were you like wanting to swap places with me? Like I was really confused. I mean, I, the... I made it as obvious as I could. I came. I'm stupid, Leona. You know off. this. You need to be then, more specific. Then, <laughs> how could I have been more specific? Well, and then you went and took a third cap and left troops on there. I was like, Leona, oh, Leona, 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 Leona one question. Get mad and then... at you for this. Why didn't you open my cap? <laughs> Why didn't yeah, you I completely open my agree with Carter here. I was here. literally only one that could have stopped Mallory. I don't think Mallory because, should have even attacked. Because... You because if, if, he opened your, if she opened your cap. Mallory's going to win either way. <laughs> yeah, that was Leanna, I, I had a question no, about game not. two. It was not a guarantee. Le Leanna, Carter could have rolled her cap right after he uh, she hit you. Yeah, only because of the question for the abysmal roll she got. Yeah, Leanna, it was like two, I, I lost zombie. 91 on that cap roll. I had a that was hilarious. <laughs> that was so funny. I would have been able to take her cap. Realistically, yeah, I think I was not expecting such a bad roll card. So that's I, I want to hop off the GM game. Worst for I want to hop off my GM game, but I wanted to ask Leona, how many positions did you have left after the zombies just destroyed you? At one. The beginning? one. She had one. one. You had one. Yeah, I they, thought about she rolling had your one. three there. Oh they my god. Every Everything of mine. Yeah, oh, I, I, I at the beginning. I was like, oh, she's gonna kill guard me forever. This is beautiful. Like, and then and I just see the twelve. And like, yeah, happens. she, her trade on three saved her life. Um, it was that. It doesn't that was, matter though. I was it dead. didn't. It didn't. But like, I was for sure gonna kill you because I, I saw that you were only adding to that position. So I had a reasonable confidence that you were down to that one. So yeah, your trade I, on honestly, three did save your I mean, life. It wouldn't it wouldn't have benefited you to kill me anyway in the second round of trades. Well, um, I, I'm gonna hop off to get ready for GM tournament. Okay, I'll see guys. you in Thanks, a, I'll see you in a few minutes, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm um, well played, Johnny. Leona. Leona, I have one yeah. thing to tell you. Why didn't you keep breaking Mallory in the third game there? In the beginning? Like, why did she keep bonus. breaking me? Yeah, why didn't she just keep breaking you? No, she no, did keep breaking me. She broke me no, multiple she times. She a couple turns, and then no, you got strong. No, every, every chance I had, I broke her. Yeah, what, she, she broke true. me plenty. Actually, yeah, I, I kind of think, oh, Leona, here's a weird, a weird idea for you, Leona. I kind of think you maybe should have just card skipped because if you sit and chill, um, I have it, to it die before out. you. No, 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 no. You kill me either way, Mallory. Um, and I just don't know if out. I. I don't know if I do. No, I think Leona could have won that left side. I she think. I Mallory. think. She, I. She did. JJ. She broke me every single opportunity. No, she, she had. missed two times. She let you hold a couple times. No, she let did you she, hold. Was she, she actually? Was, a, was she think, able to break me? One, she was, was able to break you, and she times. didn't. Was, and then she. Times where I let a hole, you only had a right? nine cap, and she definitely could have taken that if she oh, kept like breaking early you. on. Yeah, it, right? she definitely had that left side. That was hers, and then she let it happen. Even the red bot was there with three cards. She could have. Yeah, oh, you know what? You in. might like, be right about that, JJ. Like, early, early on, when red bot was still alive and stacking against yeah. me, early on she could have maybe taken that cap. And got the red bot kill. It would have been a one point hold against those two bonuses. Bot. Like she could have just card skipped, but she focused on that center position. And I was like, no, no, you have that left hold on, hold on, JJ. Yeah, it would, I, JJ, it wouldn't have necessarily been a one point hold. It would have been if she stacked off cap because the territory yeah, above the cap. Yes, so that done. you you yeah. had to go off cap, um, which you know. I did start doing, and I think by the time I hit Carter's big stack. Then he and Blue started working together, and they finally ended their war. But no. by then, it was too no, late. He like was I was not working with me. He did not work with me. Oh, dude, That's they hated each other. You know, he did. They did not he work with each care. other at all. That entire he did game. Not help me at all. He did Blue not did not care. Me. He was gonna be enemies of the Carter throughout the whole game. It was Blue, very obvious. Blue, Blue, slammed my stack out of the uh, the right hand side. Yes. Um, yeah, that's I mean, what we, we we realized we were gonna snowball if you. If you were, yeah, at one, at one point, Leona, Leona did scare me uh, because I, she yeah. had Carter, you should remove, it was, Carter, you should have removed that too when it was still a two. 
it was a massive well, mistake well, from well, Blue to do that because it was obvious Blue was going to then get targeted as soon you as know, they. You know what? Which is exactly what happened. I had terrible rolls to start. Remember, I had horrible rolls to the start. The game probably would have. But still, that was your. Right? You got a seven on two stack there. Get the bonus. If if Carter would have removed Leona early on, it would have probably snowballed quicker with Leona snowballing. Okay, so Leona, you wanted me to give you the center cap, and well, then no, I want I wanted I wanted the external cap, but yeah. I would have settled for the for the central cap as well. Yeah, I don't know, man. See, I that's, think where, that's, that's, where that's where I was misunderstanding because why would I get why would I swap places with you and be in a worse position like that? I, that's where I was confused is it seemed like you wanted me to just be like, sure, Leona, you can have my position and I'll take your shitty position. <laughs> I, agree with Valerie on that. I was like super confused as to like what I was getting out of that. So when you moved well, off cap, well, obviously I wanted the middle cap, and then once that transition would have happened, um, then I would have maybe tried to negotiate for the outer cap with um an intention to actually move out and steal one of Blue's caps. But oh, um, it never came to fruition because a lot of communication issues. to make through alliances. <laughs> We needed, we needed BC. Here, here, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I can tell you right now, if Leona had let me hold, I would have let her hold behind me infinitely. And she could have won this game. No, she could have won this game because you guys know I start getting very emotional when she kept breaking me. At that <laughs> point, I had made the decision like blue <laughs> blue and orange are fighting me and leona are fighting let the best man win so like i really do <laughs> yes. foresee a situation where if leona had not broken me she could have chilled behind me and i would have started going to town on orange and blue oh leaving God. leaving leona a, a a point where she then could have cleaned up because i did something stupid I wish I, those bo I wish those blizzards yeah, were more consequential than they Leona were. To suicide you. I was waiting for Leona to suicide you and hand you the game. It ended up happening. I was right. It ended up happening. Once I and had that entire I yeah. Once I had the best spot that I had. Yeah. Once I had the entire left side, I was just earning so many troops that, like, even if you had card blocked me, there was almost nothing you could have done at that point. Blue could have helped me. By getting off their duff and hitting your I think there was a it, chance. It, it seemed like Blue was starting to help you at the end. Like there was no, there was not. a no. few turns. No? The no, no, he was they not. Was me do all the work. It was so bad. He was, was not so he annoying. was not gonna he win. Was he was not gonna win. He was Blue, not gonna win. Blue, Blue I don't think Blue, Blue knew what to Blue do after he lost that, he was after he lost that roll on the white bot. <laughs> that was I think that was just game over in his mind almost. Well, I'm almost disappointed to be moving on because Becky's going to be really pissed about this because I have too many tournament games to play next weekend <laughs> when oh I'm at her house. Uh, and I have a movie too in about 10 minutes that I can't be to until like 25 minutes from now because... Okay. Well, I have my GM game, so I'm going to go. But seriously, really good games, guys. I, I'm really shocked to be moving on. Very well played. <laughs> I'm mad about that zombie game. That's about the only thing I'm, that I... I would also be mad about that not, zombies game. Not, not, not good games. Terrible settings. Not terrible good games. <laughs> terrible, terrible settings. I'm terrible settings. Leona, you, Leona, you got Leona. What? You got good sets of the PRT Cup game. Hey, Le Leona. Yeah. Game one and two are great. Game three, that's for fun and kicks and giggles, man. Like, come on. Yeah. It, no, it, 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 those Leona, are trolley settings that you know. They're, they're fun. Up. It's a JJ tournament. There's going to be shit them. settings. That's the whole point. Everyone had a chance to win. I was watching the whole game. Guys, Everyone had a chance anyway. to win. Are we gonna Even talk Carter. Or are we gonna just let that go? Do you want to talk Carter about the zombies game? Carter rid of blue and ended the game over there on the right side and had the one point hold in the top. It was, was, so happy it was everyone's that. game. Was so well. You were playing extremely well, Carter, in the second game. game. And then I Johnny think just Carter got lucky. played very well, yeah. I almost got a perfect. I almost played perfectly. I just made one error where I hit zombies. I shouldn't have hit zombies. I got a little bit. I broke my one rule of if you're in a stronger position, you make them come to you. You don't go to them. Honestly. Yeah. Well, so I from my from my perspective, 
I can all I can just say that I don't think I had a chance to win any one of those games. No, you had um, a chance, Leona, in the third game. You just you did it. have a chance. That was your game to win. You should have broke me. You should have broke Mallory. Well, you had we'll agree edition. to disagree. I no, you I really had that left side. I I challenge you to rewatch um, it, Leona. I really do. I, mean, you, do you have I, I don't think I did. Three. I don't think I did, JJ. Right, Not with the fine. ball. Fine. All right. Um, and then with people teaming up on me to remove me, I just had no chance. Uh, but yeah, so, I'll be watching that's that. That's the thing so is, you let us get see. strong enough to team up on you. That's your issue. You let us get strong enough to team. up I can't wait for Mallory to watch I, that game one and see her lions on Carter. She had them. She had you game one, Carter. When you got fed, that, she had you. That's a classic Valerie move right there. And she did I it go for it. it. I was so mad that I got fed, and then I was like, great, I have no set on four. I game one was a roller coaster, dude. My God. Really? Yes. I'm so frustrated oh my God. there. I, was sad, I mean, it's Bangia. It's a really good one. Like, like silent Horace fed a kill, but then Horace out. fed a kill. Mallory didn't go for the fed kill, and then silent won. My what? only prayer was that Fourth oh, would have had enough to convince them to go for Mallory, and then they didn't get Mallory, and I killed Mallory and won the game. That was my only chance. Being in first position and progressive, you don't have a shot. Unless yeah, fair enough. Um, me, me and Carter really didn't have a chance that game. Yeah, it was, it was so frustrating. It was just like, nonsense. And I tried to protect, I tried to guard people that could have died to give me a chance, but I, I played that, I mean, like, in the first turn, I wanted that bonus, but then Legend was like, I'm not moving the two, I'm like, if I hit that two, he's going to hit everything into me. So, I'm not going to break his, I'm not going to hit his two. But then at the end, I thought it was kind of funny that I got the bonus, and I was just laughing about it, everybody was laughing, because, like... This last game only lasted, like, an hour and a half, right? Maybe hour 20? Only? Yeah. I mean, it could have gone a lot longer, but... Yeah. Yes, it could have. How long have the other ones gone? Shorter. It could have been way shorter. Yes, it could have. If Ma To be fair, Mallory could have ended that game way earlier than she did. I like... like she could have made way more moves know. on Leona. She had, she had, she had, she had, she had the cap run yeah. uh, a couple of turns <laughs> before as well. Yeah. Forest boy was like... I don't know. I, I meant as in like... She she could have... She could have whittled yeah. Leona down quicker than she did. Like, That's Leona, true. you, you probably should have been dead earlier than you were. Uh, no, no. I think she made the right call there in breaking orange because orange and all blue could have um, card blocked her in place. Uh, I think. Have, I think orange could have. I think orange no could have really done some things to blue if he kept holding that bonus. So I think she made the right yeah. move breaking Carter. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I know it was hella games. I mean, I was playing. I I'm stuck in the middle is like the worst position on that map. You it is really when you got when you got stuck in the middle. It was like that's game over. Especially since Blue didn't want to work with you. It wasn't necessarily yeah. game over. The way it was going, he still could have won I, if he held the middle. I, I would like, have it, it just Blue, and it would have opened up Mallory to take everything that I had and win the game easily. I think it's important to remember that the left side is very powerful. And that, like, as much as you want to get hit in door in that King's Passage, the left side can come back to bite you in the yeah, butt. So you gotta be no watching that. You know what else would have made? You know what else would have made that game faster? Good. What else would have made that game faster is if the blizzards were way better than they were. Only one of them actually did anything. That's how it works every time. Is that there's always that one blizzard that does that? It was like I saw I saw the cat spots. I'm like, okay, congratulations to. I mean, if there was another the blizzard on the bottom, yeah. bottom making the uh, uh, hidden door with one point hole with two bonuses, I'm it like, probably would have made the game a lot the quicker. Yeah. The best cap spots. The bots had the best cap spots. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> they usually cap in the yeah, corner. I, I wish I would have had a chance to get that red cap. Then it would have been my game. But oh yeah, for sure. And, and the and the bot rolled my cap, so that's what I was really afraid of. Thankfully, I only lost two on it, but. It could have gone I, so much worse. I, I was frustrated that last game, like when Blue wasn't working with me against Mallory. I was like, okay, um, moving. That was rough. The Mallory win. That was probably um, game ending for you. Was the fact annoying that, that the white bot wasn't rolling Blue's stack on hit, on Hidden Door. I was like, why is he not rolling? And that? then he rolled it and like, lost the game. <laughs> yeah, Blue Blue messed up that whole game. <laughs> yeah. oh, Which is surprising because he played pretty good in the other ones. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. I was just like, we only have one shot, Blue. This 
faster we start hitting like i let them hold all of those bonuses so they can generate enough to start That's true. slamming Mallory, but they did not actually another that. thing so i'm going back to game one real quick because game one was definitely the best best game to watch out of the out of these three um but so game one when horace traded and was like looking to set up for the mallory kill or so someone's kill he was setting up to kill somebody and he like horribly placed his troops god i'm losing my voice mm! he horribly placed his troops like that's probably some of the worst troop placing i've ever seen for a kill when he did it and it just like he couldn't he get the kill he was no kill yeah that, yeah that he did that that was separate but like yeah, he just ran out of time. It was it was unfortunate. Game, game, game one was just a cascade of Errors. terrible. Game one was hilarious. <laughs> and, and sadly, as I as I call the settings, sit and wait to die settings, I did get the sit and wait to die no set on four. So again, nothing I could do. Yeah. Fiona, you and I have the same problem. I died before I could show I didn't didn't have a set on four. <laughs> Yeah, I was surprised that um, I was allowed to hold 12 territories for so long. That was very oh, surprising. I, you, I was mad at Silent Legend for not letting me take the bonus. So I'm like, I'm not taking you down below 12 territories. It's their problem. I'm like, if you can't let first position that's probably going to die first take a bonus to get stronger and maybe have a shot, then I'm going to let somebody else take 12 territories. I don't care. Yeah, I think oh. I... I think it was my error in game two because i don't play zombies very often um, i hate zombies so much i didn't i i didn't think they were literally gonna double yeah why i only left the six no, you know, but they literally doubled the and then i knew yeah, it was gonna get zombies, a big man. flux of troops but that's what happens yeah. Leona. this is the progression all it would have double all it would have took double, is me to fortify one double. troop onto one position and then i would have won that game probably but yeah, I had the bonus too. So, well, yeah, but I, I, was I challenge you. I was perfectly. I challenge you to either. play some more zombies because that's what my tournaments are always going to be full of. So, well, I'm glad zombies. I'm not progressing in this in rotational the, tournament, JJ. <laughs> the semifinals have two zombies games. <laughs> JJ, I hate you. <laughs> of course. Of course, I miss out on the semifinals because I made one minor error. And it's okay, Carter, man. You'll so get to watch the rest of them play, and they'll you'll yeah, have a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, lovely. I won't have a lot of fun because I'm not in the game. Oh, but yeah. I'm sorry. I don't man. know. Maybe I'm on the waiting list because I got. A I lot got. Of I got knocked out too, man. So I mean, you know. And then he tried to get back in, and uh. Sterling had to show up apparently. <laughs> See, that was so funny. Well, I got the I got the live notification, and then two seconds later, Sterling joined the lobby. I was so mad. I was so bad, bro. I was like, I need to get back at this tournament, please. J JJ bro is live. Oh Invitational round two. Sterling joins the lobby. Oh man, I was getting ready to. I actually like went live with the notification. It was too. so I was, like, funny. Freaking serious. Yeah, oh I my god. I have a 2v2 that I'm stuck with. Too, all right. So have uh, fun, Carter. Fun. I'll see you later, man. Good luck. Good yeah. luck in your 2v2. You, you guys have a good one. God. All right. Thank you to everyone for watching, those of you who are still here. Um, very good games. I